There's a sign at Chick-fil-A and there's no line. Oh, there's just no line, which is, wow, there's no line at Chick-fil-A. There's a sign, but it's just a menu. There's literally no one here. This is the most bizarre thing ever. God, there's no line. It's so weird. Yeah, I, I, the rush already passed. Really? At 5.30? I would think it's like yeah. dinner. So what can I get? Oh, um, I will just have a spicy chicken sandwich with just no pickle. Plain, okay. Yeah, just, just plain. Just a sandwich or the meal? The meal, please. The meal. What mm -hmm. type of drink would you like? Can I get unsweet iced tea with it? Unsweet tea? Medium fries, medium drink? Yes, please. Any sauce or ketchup? No. No sauce. Anything else? Um, can I ask get an Oreo shake? Yeah. Right. <laughs> Thanks. Not a large? Um, small. Small Oreo shake? Yes. And anything else? No, that's it. And your total came out to 12.53. Okay. Thank, Thank you. Thank you. And you're awesome. Awesome. Thank you so much. Pleasure. What happened to you? Huh? What happened? Oh, it's my Halloween costume. Oh. I know. It's like it's oh, so off-putting. <laughs> <laughs> I'm supposed to be Brad Pitt from Fight Club, but no oh. one's getting it. <laughs> Thanks. One. You too. I kind of forgot that that's on my face. Um, yeah, that's right. He's always really nice to me. I wonder if he got like in trouble for being on my video. He's always really nice though. Sometimes I always think that. I try and like not have it so it's like not on the fast food employees. But like there's no one here. There's literally like two cars out of me. I literally thought this was closed. The smell of those people. You know what? As I was like doing this video, like last minute Halloween costumes or whatever. I literally said while I was putting it on, I was like, is this offensive? And so many people are offended by it. And it's like, I am all for like doing better and like preventing people from feeling bad about themselves or, you know, all this stuff like that. I'm, I'm all for that. Like we should not, we should be a lot more sensitive to things these days, but some people are just, it's just too, sen like it's just too sensitive. I mean, there are just things that people are just too sensitive about. Like literally, like it's Halloween, like Brad Pitt and Fight Club, like that's a violent movie. Like I, I don't know. People are just like not him. I'm not talking about that person specific, but just people in general. Like so triggered. Like this is not funny. This is not a costume. Yeah, but it is a costume. It's based off of a movie character. That's what Halloween is. It's dressing up as a movie character. So I don't know. I mean, I couldn't have. I can't do a Fight Club costume and not be bruised. That's literally the whole point. But people are just so, so triggered. Too much, too much. And I'm, like I said, I'm someone all for, like, let's be more sensitive to how we talk about people and say about like, say things and stuff like that. Like, I, I do believe that's good for everyone's just mental well-being and stuff like that. But too much. The only problem with it not being busy, they're not quick like this. It's just a one person at the window. They usually, like, are running out food to people at all times. I did get the Oreo shake. I just got really hungry. I did my podcast. Check it out on Apple Podcasts, Dish with Trish. Did that with Jordan. It was a lot of fun. It was really good. It was a really good podcast today. It's so nice to have him and like bounce off with him. It's, it's, it's really, really cool. Especially as like it's such a different dynamic too than like what you guys know me on from here. You know, I think with starting on any new platform, like even Patreon when I started there, I was like the challenge was what can I give people that they're not getting here on my YouTube channel, which is like my main. It's my original. And that's always like the challenge is finding something different. What can I offer you different on the podcast? What do you mean? Trisha. Yes, thank you. Thanks. And I think the Oreo shake too. Yeah. Yes. So no worries. Thank you. <laughs> you too. I was like, give me that Oreo shake. Oh. I'm sure this is right. It says no pickles. Oh. Chocolate is mine to me. Mmm. So much. My ear is still. My ear is still on. Uh, Popped from the plane from New York. It was not permanently damaged. It's been like a week now. Yeah. So last week in New York, seeing *The Double Horrors* and *Beetlejuice*. I'm so sad. I love New York. I love theater. If you're in New York, like, I, here's the thing: I don't love New York. <laughs> That's a lie. But. 
I like New York, but I love the theater. Like, if you're in New York, okay, Golden Light. Okay, I mean, here in New York, be so thankful. Oh, it's dying. Mm. So warm. This is so well done, Jim. So good. I'm just eating. No shame. <laughs> We're so close to the people next to us, too. I got looked at and judge. I just watched Fight Club again this morning. I'm obsessed with Fight Club. I'm obsessed with that movie. I recently obsessed with it. Um, honestly, Brad Pitt's body. I would love to be an actor just to challenge my body like that. When you have to transform from a role, and that's like literally your job. I mean, I guess I could do that for YouTube. I mean, it's literally my job to do videos, but I literally looked up his diet and workout routine that he did for Fight Club. Oh my god, I followed that for like a month or two months. <laughs> I'm like, wow. Well, oh, I hate these ones, the round potatoes. Another okay. one. I was like, would I look like that? But you know, Brad has also like these are my favorite. Also, just lean and skinny. Mm. But if I did his workout routine, oh. I would love to commit a month of my life to like really sticking with like a diet and like a like a strict workout routine just to see what my body would do. I think it would make a fun video, so I might be able to do that. I don't know. Rabbit's so hot. Oh. Mm. Do you see that poster that Jason Momoa poster? Oh, I'm not going to go crosswalk. I can be a green light. Because I want to host Saturday Night Live. I keep having dreams that I'm hosting Saturday Night Live. It's really weird. I've never dreamt of it before, ever. Like, literally dreamt. I want to host it. We went to go visit the SNL studios when we were in NBC. I think it's, like, been in my head ever since. Or we're in New York City. Is it NYC or NBC? <laughs> I'm going to be going to the bar. We're going there, Mom. We have my mom. Well, I can't place this for my mom tomorrow. Oh, yeah, mom. Mm. What's happening? Is bomb. If a guy is like, hey, let's go pick up Chick fil A and chill at home, that's like my ideal guy. Yeah, let's do that. I am at the age now. I used to care about going out on dates and stuff like that. Like, I want to be taken out. I want to get dressed up. No. Well, let me get my pajama machine and Chick fil A. I'm watching movies, making love. <sighs> My first boyfriend was very that. We just ate. We ordered it in all the time. We just like watched movies. And talked and had sex. <laughs> he had such a good vibe. Ironically, he went on to do a movie like right when we like broke up like a couple years later. We did this movie on Netflix with Brad Pitt called War Dogs, I think. Mmm. I was so jealous. I was like, oh my god. Oh, good. 
啫。These crispies. I think my favorite part of the fries. Mm. Literally, I've just been listening to the Beetlejuice soundtrack over and over. <laughs> Obviously, I'm filming now, but I just listened to that in my car over and over. And at night, at me. One night I just watch Fight Club. I wake up and I watch Fight Club. <laughs> Edward Norton's really good at it too. I've just never been like a big Edward Norton fan. I don't know. I like his movies. No. I know he's a huge deal, obviously. He married Marry Selma Hayek too. I want to say he was. But. His movies are, are forgettable. Oh! This person was honking at me and then like cut me off. Weird. Okay. Guess I'm going fast enough. Um. I'm in a movie about magic. Was it The Illusionist? I can't remember. I think it might have been. And that was really good. But I forgot. I literally forgot it was him. Some people I don't get. Like, what's I get? Oh. Ooh, I don't get. And she's been popping up. Like, her interviews. I have no idea why because I've never searched anything she's like related to. Jessica Beale. So random. Even as a kid, she's a little older than me, so I wasn't like so about it, but I remember being like a little kid and she was like a teenager. People would make a big deal about her, and I just didn't. I just didn't get it. Acting, looks, personality—like, I'm sure she's nice, and I'm sure, and she she is pretty. I think she was in like an Adam Sandler movie too, and I was so confused. I was like, I don't get this girl. There are plenty of people that aren't necessarily my type, but I can see why they're why people think they're beautiful. For instance, Kendall and Kylie—that's not the type of girl I'm attracted to, but they're beautiful. Like Winona Ryder, Juliette Lewis, like I think they're beautiful. Margot Robbie, like beautiful. Like I think like and it's not that she's not beautiful. I think everyone's like a but I just never got the hype, I guess. Cause there's mad hype around her. I don't get it. I always preface those things to say, like, I'm also eating Chick-fil-A in my car. <sighs> For a living, so. My talk. Mm. She's in a 
opinion. Everyone's got one, don't they? I mean, she's still in her shimmer dress and her legs off. I always thought that. Like, if I was married to Brad Pitt, I would not. I wouldn't care what anyone had to say about me in life on the internet. I'm like, what? Oh, I'm sorry. I'm married to Brad Pitt, so... It's not about who you're married to, but I feel good. I want to go home and film videos. I haven't filmed videos in a couple days. It's just so much is happening and going on. I'm gonna have to shake up my dessert. Mm. So good. I was gonna get a donut, and I was like, wait, I have the shake. Mm. I love sweets. I. I'm not like, I don't crave sweets, but after I eat, I always want sweet. Does anyone know the science behind that? Mm. I, love Chick I could eat Chick-fil-A every day. I probably should eat Chick-fil-A every day so I get sick of it. I don't want it. So I have it with P.F. Chanks. I see P.F. Chanks every day. And then I get sick of it. Mm. Like literally I'm so excited to get home and film. And then once I film and edit, I'm gonna watch Fight Club all night. Mm. The other Brad Pitt movie that's been hella good is Meet Joe Black. on the queue is cool world i haven't seen that but i like watch clips of it with like him with that cartoon she can tell you how like a blonde just like a rabbit i've seen that cartoon like around i didn't know what it was from shirts outside. There's already a line for the movie tonight. Oh, the shirts aren't out yet. Hmm. Oh, that the shirts. What if I should pull over and wait? No. <laughs> Let me have to pull over real quick. The other boxes of shirts like Ready to go. Out. Mm. To be honest, I'm just enjoying this. This movie theater, though, was where I first met Quentin Tarantino. I was 18 years old. The director, Eli Roth, who did like Knock Knock and a wall with a clock, a clock in the wall or something. The hostile movies, which I love. Cabin Fever. Like, he, he, we talked on MySpace and he told me, like, Hey, Quentin's doing like a screening. You should come. And he like introduced me himself to Quentin here. And he was so great. I used to come here all the time when I was like 18. And I couldn't afford to come. Ugh. It's And it was always hard to find parking. And it still is. It's funny though, it's like not funny, but it's a good social experiment. This, um, this bruising. But half the people ask me what happened and are you okay? And then the other half of the people said nothing about it. I don't know if it's because of Halloween. Or if it's like, it's none of my business and not mind my business. Very, what would you do? Honestly, I mean, I'm not supposed to get this shirt. I thought there was gonna be easy parking over here to wait, but this is 
so good. Oh my god. This is like. Mmm. I ate healthy today for the most part. Yes. Oh, there's a meter here. Oh. That's weird. It's like a meter, but not a parking spot. Mm. I want to know what's here tonight. Mm. Mm. Should we look and see what movie it is? So basically it's called the Beverly Cinema, New Beverly Cinema. I think it's New Bev. Yeah, the newbev.com. And there's only one theater. Are there gonna be one? <clears throat> Tonight is the return of the living dead. <coughs> Sold out. At 7.30, it's only six o'clock. Sometimes they have special guests and then they have, it. so it's like a triple feature, a Nightmare on Elm Street 2 and then Uninvited. I wonder if people know if someone's gonna show up. They play Quentin's movies here too, so I didn't know if like, and sometimes he shows up, so I didn't know. If Mm. Because I'm going to play Pulp Fiction at midnight on Friday. I think it's every Friday. I'm literally just sitting here hoping I get the shirts because I have cash today. And I'm like, I want to get those shirts. I don't know if it's cash only. It seems like it's cash only because it's like on the side. And there's a team mobile across the street. That's where that 89 year old man asked me out on a date. Oh. And I said yes, and we met up, and he had a caretaker with him, and we had spaghetti by the Beverly Center. Mm. It's going to start at 7.30 and it's 6. I wonder if it, I don't think they'll have the shirts out. I should probably just go home. Mm. You know what? It's meant to be all good at another time. The honky people do are insane. Mm. Honestly, Chick fil A has like the best shakes. Wow. Alright. We're just gonna go home. <coughs> Ooh, it like. Ice cream makes me ice cream makes my throat cold. Of course it does, Trish, because it's freaking ice cream. But it like gives me like coughs, like it, it chills it so much. Okay. It's weird, it's like lined up. Oh yeah, the doors are closed. Wow. Thank God I left it's not just on 30. Alright guys. I made it even cooler. That can be like a chill. I love you guys. I hope you enjoyed my eating show. It was just an excuse for me to make a video and eat Chick Fil A. So there you go. I don't know. I'm gonna be more creative with my channel once I move. Once I'm settled, I'm just so. Oh, so my nose is running. Okay. Once I'm more settled, I'm gonna be more structured with my channel. Straight up need to be. There's El Coyote. Once in a time in Hollywood, and it's also the last place we can't see it. Well, maybe you'll see it in the background as we pass. It's the last place where Sharon Tate actually had her last dinner before. So sad. Ah, uh, it's really sad to think about. Anyways, sorry to end on that note, but um, I love you guys. Thanks for watching, and I will see you guys in the next video.